The golden age of hip-hop, the 80s era of hip-hop, was so rudimentary in a lot of ways. And the 90s it wasn't too far past it when you sort of look at it with hindsight. And even though this album might not seem as grand as a To Pimp a Butterfly or a My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, it's still a, a supreme benchmark in the world of hip-hop, especially when it comes to this decade. It's just coming off kind of lazy and unimaginative. What do you want what do you want me to say at this point? I'm not going to sit here and pretend to like this. You know, I love listening to music and I love talking to you guys about music I do, but I'm not going to not going to lie about whether or not I like something. I'm really kind of feeling a strong 3 to a light 4 on this LP. In actuality, Nasir is just kind of so-so. It's just mediocrity. It's just like barely getting to the bar of acceptability and then just kind of coasting from there. I'm feeling a strong five to a light six on this one. Lyrically, he's still dropping very poetic bars. I just think at this point in his career, he's giving what he's saying more room to breathe. And on top of that, uh, he's putting a bit more thought into what he's saying, I think, at points and uh, approaching it with a level of maturity that uh, he hasn't quite before. That and the consistently good and decadent production from Hit Boy makes this not one of Nas's best records, but I think one of the better titles in this third act of his career. Feeling a light seven on this one? Yeah, King's Disease 2 I thought was a really quality record. A lot of great, thoughtful tracks from Nas, a fantastic production from Hit Boy. I think they went a little bit harder than they did on the original King's Disease, and the results show it. And I think we can leave it there. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this one. As far as Nas's recent works go, I don't think this thing is as interesting as KD1 or 2, obviously, but uh, certainly better and a little more consistent than Nasir was a few years ago. So feeling a strong six to a light seven on this one. Nas and Hit Boy really do have something special going for themselves. Like, I would love to hear them collaborate again, even if it were just on, like, you know, a different title series or or concept or whatever, because creatively they do seem to gel so well, which, yeah, was the case on the two previous KDs, this KD, which has some of the best tracks in the series on it so far, and a very consistent track list. And pretty much everything that was great about the last two records is also great about this one. But with the exemption of features, it's maybe just a little bit more no bullshit. Um, and, and yeah, I love it. It was great. Really good listen. I'm feeling a decent eight on this one.